Brian Bourne here, co-founder of Scale Up Performance. We have something very exciting tonight. We're here at Mantis Auto Sport. They're better known for their high-end Porsche builds, their race car builds. Uh, they've helped us out with a bunch of dyno tuning in the past. And when a friend of mine came by the other night for dinner, he's got a new VinFast VF8 in the driveway. I'm like, well, how much power does that thing make? And we started looking online, can't find any dyno runs of one. So we thought, what better thing to do than to come down here to Mantis and run it on the dyno. Pearson strut neat 65 Mustang. <laughs> they took a Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody uses a Mustang too for all the buildings. That's crazy. That's very, very interesting. That's quite interesting. Huh. It's going forwards and backwards? Yeah, the front wheels are going opposite direction. That's amazing. <laughs> that's a VCU calibration problem. Wow. Yeah, that, that's that's this one started to spin and that one went forward and then reversed and then went forward again. That is uh, possible when, when they lose track, it's still well, wise power. Yeah, because I was just saying, I'm wondering if it's... Motor it, it would seem that they're not monitoring the result or on the motors. Right, and if it sees resistance on this one, it might actually end up going... Well, it can't torque vector, it's just into right. a diff. Yeah. So it's, it's not doing anything smart that way. Mm -hmm. It's just going into a diff, and if the motor's going the wrong way or starts the wrong way... Right, yeah, yeah. It just keeps applying power. That's true, yeah. You, you ever sit there and like just flip a switch on a motor and it doesn't, you don't give it time yeah, to stop? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, yeah, exactly. Kind of like an alternator, you can actually get it to go the opposite direction, right? That's exactly. Yeah. Let's try it again. So I'm just taking my foot off the brake. It's, it's creeping. So let's see what happens. Cause it's going forwards then backwards. Ooh. Now it's going forwards. Now I'm hard brake, and it took a while to stop. Oh, it's, it's angry. Like no, it doesn't like not knowing what the other ones are doing. So, so um, before we started this car, we went to fast charge station earlier today. So the car got here to Mantis with. 98% state of charge or something like that. So we don't know how they've configured this. It's possible that they've configured it so that it just gets slower as the state of charge drops, or it's possible they've configured it with a torque map that's capable of, it's capable of through most of its state of charge. So we wanted to give this vehicle the best chance it could. We're, we're starting with a full state of charge. Um, we're just right now trying to play with what Creep Boat does on a, on a hub dyno, but we're gonna put it in sport mode when we run this. Uh, this vehicle is claiming um, 400 horsepower and 452 foot-pounds of torque. So um, we're gonna see what it does. There's nowhere on this display where we can get uh, motor RPM. Uh, and normally, like say with the scaler car, we, the scaler car is easy because we know what gears we put into it and we know what the RPM is capable of. So it's very easy for us to set a pub dyno. In this case, we couldn't find anywhere online what gear reduction there is. So we're making kind of an educated guess because we can't see engine RPM and it doesn't come off OBD2. We've tried that also. Um, we're gonna have to do a dyno pull by speed. Yeah, it's creeping. That's why. Just the rear sport mode. Does that pick the pace? Yep, a little bit. That's fascinating. What about eco? Up. Well, I can't bring it up to 1500, so how are we going to do this? It's going to hold you anyways. Just, just start rolling and basically. Uh, when it starts to load? It 
looks very unhappy. The car thing I feel like it's going to be a dino road. It's not even getting to, uh, it's like, it would basically give me the green up top. No, it, 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 it says that, uh, it just turned off, um, it just turned off that it was going to no, drive, drive, drive into something. Drive oh. aids might be the issue. Oh, it thinks it's going to hit the wall. Oh, yeah. It's breaking. Exactly what's happening. Forward collision warning off. Turn off. Emergency braking off. off. Turn off. That's probably it's. That yeah. makes That's sense. That's what it was doing. Because the forward sensors are seeing that blind there's something spot there. detection. We don't mind running over anyone. Okay. Driver monitoring system off. Electronic stability control off. Okay, so that's all stability off. Lane change. Camera, what about camera? Off. The top camera. This is all off. Okay, I think all the things are off now. Okay. So. All right, so maybe this will better. Automatic emergency braking deactivated. Drive carefully. Never done that before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shall we see if we can bring up RPM and see if it's okay with it? Brake system fault service required. Brake system fault service required. I think we're not going to be able to do this. He'll start this fault. Yeah, there's a they probably have somewhere in there where it needs to go into. Lamp home mode power uh, reduced. Yeah, it needs to go into mode. a dyno mode, I think. Right. right? Where... Great, so unfortunately, our dyno run of the Vinfast VF8 was a bit of a fail. Um, Nowhere online can we find gear ratios, so we kind of made some educated guesses about maximum RPM and, and gear ratios. Plugged in OBD2, um, we're not getting any OBD2 off the car other than the voltage of the 12 volt system. Um, so obviously that doesn't send, we don't have time to really look at it more before we have to return the car. Uh, the car was very unhappy about being on the dyno. At first, it just wouldn't even go up until 10 kilometers an hour. We had to turn off all the driver assist, all the forward braking. It thought it was just going to drive straight into the dyno wall, I guess. But we turned all that off, and of course then the wheels turned. We never got it up over 46.3 kilometers an hour before everything went yeah, haywire. Decided regenerative braking was failing, ABS was failing. Uh, it decided the car needed to go to limp home mode, motor speed reduced, uh, and the car just basically checked itself out of the party. So. This was a complete fail. Hopefully in the future we can figure out ways to trick this car into being happy on a dyno.